I'm here with Terry Fackety at the Rock House Lodge on Main Street, Man, West Virginia. Every time we come down and ride the Rock House trail system, I come and stay with Terry because he's got the nicest place in town. Here at Rock House, we opened in, uh, I believe it was the day after Thanksgiving, 2002, and we've got uh, two units downstairs that are adjoining, and then we also have two units upstairs that can be adjoining if you want them to be. And what I mean by that is we've got a house type door between the units. You can either lock it or leave it open. Uh, if you've got big groups, you can put nine people downstairs, nine people upstairs. Everybody's got their own bed. we got another building over in town called the Depot that'll actually sleep 34. And we had almost that many this weekend. Wow. That was, that was a great group, though, the guys from Ohio that you introduced me to. We had a great time riding all those razors. I felt like I was at a razor convention. <laughs> yeah, I did too, and, and I had my razor up there. Actually, I bought my razor from those guys about three months ago. They're from Danville, Ohio, and they come down and stay with us twice a year. Good bunch of guys. The best thing about the depot, when you walk out on that big 50-foot porch overlooking the river, we got some redneck couches out there, and you can kick back and drink you a beer and enjoy the place. We also have a fire pit, um, and we have a, a pressure washer for everybody. We got barbecue grills. Uh, we got it set up the way you like it. We take care of you. Anybody ever do any fishing out back there? Yes, they do. We got a lot of smallmouth bass out there. This is uh, something that we did. Um, it was a community effort back in 2005. Uh, there was a preacher uh, locally here named Walter Hawkins who had served in Vietnam. And he came to me and asked me to help him uh, to build this to honor uh, the soldiers who were killed in Vietnam. And I'd like to show it to you if I may. Um, we got a granite piece here that uh, was donated by a company in Charleston, Casto Tile and Marble. And uh, here we've got the three soldiers from Vietnam. All gave some, some gave all. Here's all the branches of the service represented. And here's a list of the servicemen who uh, gave their lives in Vietnam. And the list totals 15, which is quite a bit for a small community like this. And if you'll notice, there was one soldier here who actually won the Medal of Honor. So we dedicated this about, uh, about four years ago. And later that summer, we had a trail rider here from Virginia named Jack Koontz. And he walked over here and was looking at the memorial and he came to me and he said, you know, Terry, I was in the Korean War and I'm a Mason by trade. Would you care if, uh, if I put stone around this? So Jack did that. He brought this stone from Virginia and he did this on his own, which was great. And he signed his name over here, Jack Koontz, 2006. This is really nice, folks. When you come down to the stay at the Rock House Lodge, you got to walk across the street and check out the Vietnam Memorial and remember our fallen soldiers. If you ever get a chance to come down and ride the Rock House Trail System here in Southern West Virginia, you ought to come down and check it out. It's a great trail system. For more information on the Hatfield McCoy Trail Systems, go to trailsheaven.com. Be sure and tune in next week to see where the trail takes us next. My name's Stephen Anderson, and we'll catch you next time on the trail.